I'm more than happy to have it as a piece of art in my showroom. In my time with motor cars, I just recently was very fortunate to be able to buy a C-Type Jaguar. Um, I've always had a passion for C-Types, D-Types and next K120s. As a young fellow, I grew up as Jack Davies office boy and he drove C and D-Types. So we used to have a lot of fun racing around the car parks at ATN Channel 7 in that era and also 2GB Macquarie where I was employed. He also had a love of cars and a love of motorsport. So it was an exceptional time in my life. Unfortunately, he passed away at an early age at 49, but the passion for me has been kept going because of the way that he was so, so much into it and I was into it anyway. So it was just easy to, to carry on this particular Jaguar, I only purchased it late last year. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice car. Of course, it's a replica. It was built in England, came out to Australia. It was actually painted in Australia, not by me. Um, but I'm very, very fussy. Um, and so it had to be a really good job, which it is. The whole restoration is, is to my standard. And for that reason, that's why I bought it. So, background goes back to when I was a 16 year old and I sold comics and marbles to get a deposit to buy my first MGTC. Um, from there the passion never waned. I had an MGTF, an MGA and then later I went motor racing in the early 60s at Warwick Farm. Started in an MGA in Mark Sports Cars, a really really nice Austin Healy Sprite. A really nice Austin Healey 3000. I drove them all at Warwick Farm. Um, and the passion is still here today as it was back then. Over the years, I've been lucky enough to be able to collect some really lovely cars. Uh, I've also been fortunate that I can restore my own cars, and that's part of the passion. Projects can take anywhere from two years to four years to complete, depending on how bad the vehicle is before I start. Um, but I'm very proud of what I've achieved and I'd like to just share a little bit of that with you. This particular C-Type um, was produced from 1951 to 53. They only made 53 of these cars worldwide. Um, majority of them were used for racing um, with, with Jaguar and then a few privateers bought them later on to run them for hill climbs and general road racing. Um, it's an exceptional motor car. It, at the time it really did put Jaguar on the map who had been sort of not quite getting there but with this car they went out first time and they won Le Mans. They also came third that year in the same race. The history is well known by everyone, so I won't go down that track. Um, overall, it's just a passion for me because of the fact that it's just a lovely body and uh, it was such a good car to drive in its day. Um, and it proves that by being the quickest car to win Le Mans twice. Um, what else can I say other than I'm very, very happy and privileged to, to own this particular car. Um, and I hope anyone out there that's into Jaguars, if they're not sure, they can look it up and check its history and they give all the detail you want. They all know that Sterling Moss drove the car with great success. And so that's also part of the motoring heritage of that era.